Hey guys, welcome to our Wrestle Slam special via Sports Matters platform. I'm joined by one of Monster, one of Ireland's biggest wrestlers at this moment in time and the past couple of years, Mr. Steve Savage, all the way in Limerick right now. First of all, Steve, how's things with you, my man? Great, really good. Uh, firstly, just obviously thanks for having me on, taking time and all that um all that crack. It's much, much appreciated. Well, it's a pleasure, my man. Look, I I've Many, many years ago, we'd done an interview in the Kino Cork. I think it might have been 2018. It would have been, I suppose, I re- early, I early remember days. It. Over I, by the door. Over by the door, we grabbed you. I actually, it, it popped up in my thing. It popped up in my memories recently. And I was like, I was so skinny. I was so skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I, I remember. You put in a lot of hard work. But listen, it's, it's, it's gone from strength to strength, Steve. You're the kind of guy that, you know, when you put your, your mind to something, you will perfect it. And look, constant events and you know wrestling shows all around the world the uk ireland and northern ireland and um, you know you've been to america and look the best is still to come but look how, how did you get into wrestling first day we have to ask you that because you know for a lot of guys they're just genetically good and, and you know they're in the gym and you know like for ddp someone came over to ddp and said look you should wrestle but look did, we, we were a fan earlier on like was it something you grew up watching <coughs> i've been a re- i am a wrestling fanatic I am an absolute wrestling nerd, let's say. First and foremost, um, I love pro wrestling. Like, always have, since I'm a kid. I actually don't ever remember not watching wrestling. There was never a time where I stopped watching it. There was never, I just love wrestling. I always have. Um, so I got into wrestling early. My early, So I trained, um, we done all the messing around in the backyard. So I'll keep this really short and sweet, really <laughs> quick. But I actually originally trained in Bray, County Wicklow, when I was only 15 or 16. Learned my bumps and stuff from the likes of um, uh, Finn Balor. Um, Would have worked with, like, really early. This is a long time ago. Um, like, Paul Trace taught me, like, bumps and rolls and this and that. Um, so I trained in Bray 15 years ago. Um, and obviously, being quite young, it was quite hard for me to, at the time to access Limerick to Bray, Limerick to Bray. So I would just used to go, I used to do a lot of camps and stuff. When they used to run camps and stuff there. Um, and then I kind of came into my adult life here in Limerick and I, I got the opportunity to apprentice as a tattoo artist. So I kind of followed that tattoo artist dream for quite a few years. And long story short, um, wrestling was still always a passion of mine. I still always wanted to be a wrestler. Um, at the, uh, over those couple of years, OTT had kicked off massively. OTT started running um, shows in, in Limerick and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, like indie wrestling is a big thing. And how do I get back into this? And how do I do this again? Um, and like that, yeah, long story short, I, I found a school in, in Cork, CCW at the time. I started retraining there and then just started reaching out to um, other schools, other places, and just started retraining as a wrestler. And um, it was quite fast. So I started. Um, performing on shows and stuff again. I like. I always say genetically, you're gifted. Obviously, you're in great shape. Uh, how did you find that transition? Obviously, doing stuff with Balor, Paul Tracy, the guys are iconic in in Irish wrestling. But obviously, taking that break, obviously that transition. How did you find? Obviously, the early days getting back into it. So like, you're at adult life. You know, you're doing the tattoo apprenticeship, and then obviously you go on your own and do your thing. How did you find that transition? Was it was it hard at the start, or did you take to it like a duck in water? Um. So. I, I actually had a bit of a, in, in those years where I kind of, from being a teenager, learned how to wrestle and then being a young adult, um, stepping into tattooing and a business and that kind of life, um, I had gone, I was not in shape at all. I was tremendously out of shape. I, I didn't go to a gym. I, I, I drank more nights of the week than I'm proud of. You know what I mean? Um, I lived this kind of, a, what I thought was supposed to be a tattoo artist life at the time. Um, it was a lot of nightclubs, a lot of parties and a lot of stuff I shouldn't have been doing at an early age. But I had a bit of a lifestyle change. Come in, by the time I was like 25, I was like, I can't do this anymore because I'm, I'm not happy. You know what I mean? It, it, it was a big part where I was like, I am not happy doing this. Um, so I actually um, started to just, just training, cycling. Um, I was always very shy to take the stuff because I was scared of people seeing my flaws. So I wouldn't go to a gym in case people would go, oh man, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. So nowadays, if I'm trying to help people in the gym, I'm like, no one cares. Man. No one cares what you're doing. We're all here to do our own thing. 
So I had to get myself in shape from, from my confidence wise to try to get back into wrestling, you know. Um, touched a couple of bits of boxing, MMA stuff. And then eventually I was like, wrestling is the thing I want to do. Never mind this stuff or this stuff. Wrestling is the thing I've always wanted to do. Go back to that, you know. Um, yeah. As soon as I got back into to training wrestling, it was literally like, oh, okay. Like, this is, this is what I'm actually meant to do, you know. Um, and, even, and even if I took it hard, I, I don't want to kind of hound on about this, but even if it was hard, and it still is, like, cause wrestling is hard. I don't think that's said enough. You know, wrestling is, um, are you, what's the story with cursing here? Like it's a, Oh, yeah, yeah. All good. All good, my man. All good. Wrestling is fucking hard. You know what I mean? I was talking about this only yesterday. Like, there's so much room for error in a wrestling match. There's so much room for error. Like, sometimes the art of wrestling is hiding the errors. You know what I mean? And it's hard. And it's supposed to be hard. But because I feel so passionate about it, and I, or my early days when I started retraining as a wrestler, I used to get so stressed out. I used to get so angry at myself. Like, Why can't you do this? You know what it is. You know how to do this. You know what. And I used to. But, I mean, in hindsight, it doesn't get you anywhere. Stressing out and freaking out, it doesn't get you anywhere. You just keep going and keep going and keep going. So um, the transition was enjoyable. I want to say enjoyable rather than hard because it's still a transition. Like everything's still like, and I know it's so cliche. So you're always learning. You're always, but you literally are always learning at this game. Yeah. Like always, you know, if there's ever a time, like I might do a lot of stuff in the UK and I might feel a bit repetitive. Anytime I feel like it starts getting repetitive, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. hold up, go back and make this fun again. This can't be just putting on trunks, going out. This has to be fun as well. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's, yeah. And like, you know, like, as you say, look, that, that transition has been incredible. Like, you know, we're seeing Steve Savage all across the country. It's, it's been incredible. The UK, you're constantly back and forth to the UK. Uh, you're making a name, Steve. And, and it's, it's fair to say you're always in a great show. You know, we've been lucky enough to see you at Phoenix, CCW. Um, obviously, there were great Cork events. And look, obviously, Herd Knox, Limerick. It's it's going to be massive, you know. There's a night announced. It's it's a new wrestling promotion. The light up is incredible. The graphic work is fucking incredible. I must say, Thank everything you. looks amazing. But tell us about the hair knocks name because look, it, it, if someone says hair knocks, they'll say Steve Stavage. So tell us, you know, where does the name come from? What inspired you to 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 pick that name? Obviously, there's a lot of history to that name for you. Yeah, it, it is a personal. It's it, it's a personal one to me. It's it's my it's my, it's my Business first off, it's, it's, it's what it is, but like the name, when I, so I opened my fir first tattoo studio when I was only 20, you know, and, and I feel like, and it, I don't like, I don't want to say Limerick's the worst place in the world, you know what I mean? Because it's not, because I like, there's days where I think Limerick is the best place in the world, yeah. but it just has a, a bit of a graft that you kind of have to like, you have to kind of work through certain aspects of things, not to be accepted, to get, I feel like it's just, it's, it's a little bit hard. And this is me being completely ignorant to like not being from other places, but just from what I know and my surroundings, there's just a graph and a work that needs to be put into something yeah. to, for me to kind of succeed or, or like or, or whatever atmosphere or whatever surroundings I came from, it, it just doesn't really come that easy, you know? Um, and the, the, it just always stuck with me, like hard knocks, hard knocks, it always just kind of stuck with me. And, um, and yeah, it just it was then my first business, and then it just kind of transcended into Hard Knock Steve Savage, and then before lockdown, where there was talk of Phoenix, where we weren't too sure it was up in there. There was um wasn't too sure what was happening with Phoenix just bit before lockdown. Um, and my goal, realistically, my goal was always to have a school in Limerick. Even going back to when I was like fifteen or sixteen, I was like, man, it would be unbelievable because there was me and a group of guys were um trying to travel to Bray. It's like, how unbelievable would it be to have a school in Limerick? And that was always my goal was to have a wrestling school in Limerick, you know? I'm sitting in it right now. You're, you're, <laughs> my iPad is on a ring at the moment. Um, so it, it, it's important to me. Like, and, and look, names can change and names can be this and that. I just feel like it's fitting. It's fitting for the product that we want to put out. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm not saying like, oh, we're picking and choosing wrestlers and talent and this and that. It's not that, like, the guys that we want to work with and the guys that we want to, like, highlight 
are guys that want to work and want to work hard and graft and and I pro- like I don't want to say we're going to put on the best show ever blah 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 it's, it's not but like you know the guys on the show you know what I mean you know the guys you know they're all hard grafters and hard yeah. workers and again a cliche thing if the rest in front of like let's say for instance like Sammy D like Sammy D just on the national stadium he's not going to put on a half first match just because he's in a smaller venue these yeah. guys will still give you 110 percent you know and this is just from like guys that i've met that, that i feel like um want to work want to wrestle you know and so i feel like it's just fitting for the product like, for what we want to do you know yeah and like the poster as you say look everything was announced we were chatting to, to leon good friend of yours obviously there's a lot of stuff happening but the lineup so so far is incredible like as you say that poster went out you know we're seeing the biggest wrestlers in the country on that poster it must be um, fitting that you could bring this to Limerick. It must be fitting that, look, many years of work are paying off. It must be fitting that you can add the hard knocks and, and set up this, you know, incredible organisation. And obviously, it's a good thing for the people of Limerick, for the people of Munster and for the people of Ireland that will travel down to this. It's, 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 um, it, it's great for the wrestlers as well. This is another another thing that I, that I would like to... And I'm not saying other people don't do this because we do this, you know what I mean? Um... It's great to have for, for wrestlers to have more places to wrestle. The more places, I mean, and I can only tell you this just from my own experience. There was a time, and I just still is, I will wrestle anywhere. I just, I just want to wrestle to get better, you know? And there's many other wrestlers in, in Ireland as well that, like, if they have more places to wrestle, there's more shows for them to do. They get to work with, Cal, like, let, let's say, like, they get to work with a Scotty Davis or they get to work with um whoever it is, you know what I mean? Like, they, they become better wrestlers. So if I can like, and if I can provide a place for wrestlers and workers to like, to get better, to, to work with guys, of course, you know what I mean? And all that's going to happen is the product's just going to keep getting better and better and better. And people just want to, when you, when you see hunger, especially in some of the younger guys, when you see the guys that want to be on the shows, they're training, they want to do this, they want to do it. I can't tell you the feeling that it gets when you see that. You know what I mean? When you see someone that passionate about it, and it shows true. I promise you, it shows true. When these people come out through the curtain, you can tell. You're like, this guy really fucking wants this. Like, this yeah. guy, you know what I mean? And that's the part of wrestling for me that that is the real part. If you want to say that, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. no, these guys work hard for this. These, they want to give the fans something that they want to show the people that, that they can do this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Of course. And like, it, it's fair to say, Steve, look, uh, right now in, in Ireland, it's at an all time high. We've got so much happening, which is incredible. Like, it's a, like, it, I love it. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's how I still find it bizarre that Ireland has this much wrestling. It's a real, we needed it though, because as you said, for so long, you, you'd have to travel to one destination, but now we have it. And it's, it's, it, it's, it's, it's mixed perfectly. You know what I mean? You've got it down south, up north, you have it to the west, the east. It's incredible. It's amazing. I mean, I, I'm like when I go, if I'm in the UK and stuff, I just keep my mouth shut sometimes because I'm extremely proud of the caliber of wrestling from Ireland. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy, and it's great. It's great that we have like this is going to be like. I mean, there's no major plans for us. We want to have a regular show in Limerick. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the boys are doing stuff in Cork. There's other traveling shows around the country. You know, um, we got OTT doing all up this side of the country it's it's great man it's just like and it, it's accessible for all fans you know what i mean it's accessible for everyone to get to and it's yeah. so great to see guys traveling and supporting like supporting with like supporting the boys in cork supporting the boys in dublin so coming down this side it's, yeah. mate, it's, it's it's like it's really like it's it's a hindsight thing when you go away and you have a chat about it you're like man these people are supporting this fucking stuff <laughs> like crazy you know you have to keep putting out something. You have to keep putting out something that they keep wanting to see it, you know? Of course. And look, the, the, the cravings there, look, as I said, I've been lucky enough to get back on track. Like, we're covering Irish wrestling for eight, nine years. I remember doing OTT from day one and just being there grabbing interviews and doing stuff. But I've seen it, you know, through the last seven, eight years and seeing so much happening in Cork, you know, across Ireland. It's fucking awesome. And we're getting to see the likes of yourself, LJ Clary, you know, Sammy D, Scotty Davis, you know what I mean? Joe from OTT, he's back in the ring, which is incredible. He had a great match with, with him. <laughs> it, was, it was surreal. And, like, you know, seeing the legends come, like, you know what I mean? We're seeing some great wrestlers come as well. It's it's a fascinating time to be an Irish fan. Like, what's the, the long-term goal, Steve, for, for Hair Knox? Are you going to try and do maybe five, six shows a year? You know, three, four shows a year? Do you have kind of big plans for that? Six, six shows. It's a perfect that's, number. It's a perfect that's number. That's the plan. 
So I, I, I just, I can tell you this. I, I, like, I have a lot of, as an adult, I have a lot of trial and error stuff. You know what I mean? I'm trying to run a business. I have a lot of trial and error stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, I do like that. I, I, you can, it's very easy to like to jump the gun and to get really excited about stuff and start going, this would be great. This would be great. This would be great. But at the end of the day, clean, slow, steady. Yeah. Let's not force stuff down people's throats. You know what I mean? Let's not just keep putting it there and putting it there and putting it there. Because what happens is it just gets stagnant, you know? Yeah. Keep it fresh. Keep the, keep the cards nice, clean, simple. People want to see it. By the time the show is finished, people should be like, you know what? I could have watched another match. I definitely want to come back to this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, so the goal is, is a, it's a realistic goal. I don't, like, it's a realistic goal. It's like, I want to run regularly in Limerick, six shows a year. Um, give guys that are training down here, give trainees from other parts of the country the opportunity to get in the ring. A big part, um, a big goal would be to help progress some of the newer Irish talent. Yeah. You know, and, and not, not necessarily just from here either, from other schools and from other parts of the country, you know. Again, yeah. like I said, if I can provide somewhere for them to apply their trade, um, then that, 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 it's a personal one for me is to see guys grow. You know, it's, it's, and, and to get regular work, you know. And Steve, you mentioned you mentioned like there's there's so many guys that we know of right now that are that are kind of coming up the ranks and stuff. But it, it's probably hard to name one. But like, could you name a couple of guys that we should be watching out for? Because look, it could be the case of this time in six months, twelve months, eighteen months, twenty four months. There, Steve Savage, two years ago, a year ago, saying, "Watch out for this guy or girl." Obviously, we need to see more girls on the scene. We're hoping that we're going to see more girls on the scene, but. Obviously, with the up and comers across Monster and stuff, any guys that we should be watching out for, especially down down your line of work. So, for, from 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 my side of the country or from a- anywhere? Well, you we'll go your side of the country. We we'll, we we'll go we we'll go Monster. My side of the country, and this is a completely biased one. I'm not even going to fucking show <laughs> it. This is completely biased. Be- um, he's a uh, one second. I'm sorry. Um, he's see what happens if you, when you're working with some of these guys training them is it becomes personal because you know their backgrounds and you know their stuff. One guy that's sticking out for me is Mike Kelly. He's super new, super 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 new. You know, um, he's a good guy. He wants to, he has passion for wrestling. You know, that's from just my side in here. There's a lot of other guys that that want to step up. Um, Francis Mercer is a guy that's been training for a couple of years. Um, he wants to be seen. He really wants to be seen. Um, you have other people that have made waves this year. Is Anita Vaughan? Like it's it's great to see her doing so much and doing so much regular work. Um, oh man, you put me in the spot here because I don't want to be leaving guys out because there's a <laughs> ah, lot of there's, there is so many like the, the ones you named there, incredible. Like you know, Anita, we we seen her. Uh, you know, she's gone from strength to strength. Um, and obviously, look, we, we there's obviously Raven Creed that's been around a long time. Yourself, Raven Creed and Terry Thatcher, what a fucking trio that is. Let's let's leave this one play out. That's I, experience. <laughs> I, I make you know what, man. This is one of those things where it's, it's it's like slow and steady, and stuff just happens sometimes. And again, I want to tell you from my own experience: if I try to force anything, it will go to shit. I promise you, it'll go to shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Me, Terry, and and Raven, like it just it'll just gel. It's just happening. There might be more people as well, but I don't, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, yeah. When is this going out? So this is going to go out. We're going to put this out. It's going to be out this week. So it's going to be way before your 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 debut show in Limerick. But yeah, it's going to go out this week. So I suppose but, Thursday, Friday, because I'm in the UK. I'm off to the UK Friday, so we'll have it out Thursday. So 24 hours from now. Okay, okay. that's all. I won't spoil anything, so I won't spoil anything. But um, yeah, like I mean, myself working with... um. With Terry and um and Raven, it's a, it's it's a nice fit. It's, it's something different, you know. It adds something different, and again, it keeps the wrestling aspect of what what I want to do, and hopefully what the other guys want to do, keeps it fresh for us. You know what I mean? It goes back to me saying like, if I do stuff and I feel like I'm getting a bit stagnant as a wrestler, I'm like, no, I want to change something. I want to do something, and and you keep it fresh because our minds are weird. You know what I mean? Our our wrestling mind is like I lie in bed at one in the morning and go. <laughs> What was that song? That song will work great. Or maybe, that, and then I'm like, man, just go to sleep. You're like, stop thinking about this all the time. Yeah. So you do need stuff to be kept fresh, and um, for, and for every for every kind of workers, they need to have something on their mind that they can work towards. Because if you're not working towards something, it becomes very 
gets a bit harder to bump all the time when you don't have that, you know, that kind of goal that you want to get to somewhere, you know? Of course. And like, we, we have to mention, look, it's, it's yet again, it's been an incredible couple of years, but I love your, like, you know what I mean? We, we've seen you in Cork, you've had like matches, uh, the entrance is incredible, the interaction with the crowd, you're always in hard matches, there's no easy bumps in a, in a Steve Savage match. Like, what's the, the long-term goal for you, Steve? Look, obviously, we look at the UK, the indie scene is big, you're in the UK a lot. Uh, like, if someone said to you in the morning, look, a couple of months time, we want you to move to America, join NXT, or look, we want you to go to Impact, All Elite Wrestling. Is that something you're open to? Is that the long-term goal? Obviously, you've got the businesses in Limerick. Look, very successful, um, great tattoo artist, incredible wrestler. You know, you put your hand to something, and in my opinion, it turns to gold. So, like, is that something you really, really want? And if it came, you'd be, you know, guns. 100%. 100%. 100 percent i i look at a lot of my wrestling and stuff that, that i have is if, if i and i'm happy you know what i mean this is a, this is another thing that like i'm not stressed out if i don't go here i don't get this if i don't get that because i'm doing this you know i'm happy while i'm but like there's a time's going to come where i'm going to be like 65 or 70 you know what i mean and i'm going to have video footage when i've done that stuff you know like as opposed to going i wish i had done that or i wish i had um so i'm happy doing that and, and again, I'm just leaving this happen organically. What I'm doing with wrestling is I'm just leaving it happen organically. You know, I, I, I don't want to be forced. To I'll knock on doors. You know, I will knock on doors. But like, again, without sounding like really cliche, okay, what's kind of meant to be is, is meant to be, you know? Yeah. Um, like there's certain things. Like a goal for me was OTT. Was a, since day one, since, since I, before I got back into training wrestling, I sat upstairs in Dolan's and I watched Jordan Devlin and I watched... Um, like Will Osprey and I and and Tyler Bay and I said, why am I not fucking doing this? Yeah. You know, this, my goal was OTT and and now I've got those little OTT um th- those little OTT gigs that I want more, but it, yeah. I, but it, but it has to just happen. You know, it just has to happen. I will keep going back and forth to the UK. I will literally go anywhere in the world. If someone in Japan rings me or someone in Cuba or fucking the Congo. This says, hey man, we have a show. I go, yeah, cool, yeah. I'll I'll try figure it out. Because like, I just, I'm I'm a little bit scared of hindsight. Saying, why didn't I do this? You know, why didn't I just travel to that mad place? And um, but yeah, a, a goal would always be to be on a on a large scale to get seen on a large scale. If that doesn't come, I'm very happy. Yeah, I'm very happy. Like running a school here, I'm very happy in Limerick. I'm very happy. I've got the chance to travel. Like I'm, I'm still around for quite a while, you know. Um, so yeah. there's certain little goals, but I like to keep them realistic. You know what I mean? I don't want to say, "Hey, man, I, I think I should do WrestleMania next year." You know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I know. Well, they're going to come. I, Steve. I, I like, they're going to come. Them, them, them bigger doors. Like OTT is is the, it's the it's the top of the pyramid. Like to to work with them is incredible, and we've seen we've seen you wrestle there. Incredible matches. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of more matches via OTT, but. You know, you've got like the looks of the like you know the UK. You've got progress. You've got so much happening. Then you look at America, NXT, Impact, All Elite, New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's only a matter of time before them doors open. And I'm not just saying that because I'm here. I'm not trying to you know one of these guys that fucking licks ass. And it's 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 going to happen. No. the physique is there. The, the matches are there. You're putting in the graft. You know what I mean? You you're you're the hours are being put in, and they have been put in over the years. So it's only a matter of time before we see that next big step. I, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate that, you know, and, I, and like, I, again, I just can't, like, I mean, I, I enjoy, I, 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 I train every day, you know, I, like, and, and, but I enjoy training, you know what I mean? I, I do this because I want to do this, and when I have the little goals in wrestling, it gives me a reason to go, go okay, this, this is what you're training for, so it's always, it's always there, so I don't know if it's, a, like, like I'm sure there's some sort of a saying, but, like, you, you can't really beat hard work, like, Anyone that no. puts the work in, you know what I mean? I mean, it is. And I try to tell some of the guys here that are training as well, like, just keep going. And sometimes you get shitty days. You know what I mean? And they're the days, I think, that do make you that kind of person who go, oh, okay, I'm a little bit stronger than what I thought I am. I didn't want to train today. I didn't want to do that today. So, it's, um, you know, I do I, I do appreciate you mentioning that. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And no. and that's all, I, that's all I can, that's, like, that's- say when I'm at, you know what I mean? That's the best way to have it. Like, as you say, look, we're really looking forward to Dolan's Warehouse, uh, Hard Knocks, Sunday, November 20th. Uh, tickets, 20 euro, and they're available at dolans.ie. Uh, doors, 6 p.m., the bell will ring at 7. Strictly over 18s. Um, 
obviously there's a golden ticket tournament the graphic work is incredible the lineup is incredible mr steve savage will be there and of course it's going to be a great night to see you multitask obviously running the night and resting and stuff but look it's a new it's I'm so strange. excited about it. You know what? I, I'm so I get very stressy very easy. But then likewise, when I get away from likewise. it, likewise. Yeah, but you know what? I'm excited for it. I've, the guy like Leon as well. Leon's been a blessing since, since since this has kind of come around. His mind for wrestling is amazing because he just as I'm about to say something, he's like, "Oh, I got you." And and it's, so it's great to be able to bounce off a couple of different guys. And there's loads of different guys involved here. You know what I mean? So it's great to be able to bounce off stuff. And um. You know, when you're around like a nice vibe of energy, and when you're around like wrestlers that want to work, and you're around people that want to just just to progress it, how can it like it, it, it just again, it almost becomes easy. You know what I mean? It almost becomes yeah. all right. We all want to do is we all want to see it succeed. We want a big energy like that. I feel like the show is just big energy. That's we're just big energy. I want people it to is. enjoy themselves. You know what I mean? Just let's see. Let's. And I'm not saying like wrestling fans don't because. The standard of wrestling in Ireland is amazing, and that does those. You know, I seen seen you at OTT last week and stuff, and like um, you know, big energy, big vibe, big um, big things happening. You know what I mean? It's great, and it's good that we're going to see Limerick on the map. Obviously, Belfast gets a lot of success, Dublin, uh, Cork, and obviously we have Limerick. You know what I mean? Limerick, beautiful place, famous for uh, Steve Savage, the wrestler, Willie O'Connor, the dad player, the steakhouse <laughs> on the main streets. Uh, we might see Willie O'Connor in the ring someday. I know Willie likes to... I'd say he's a good boy to throw a punch and a kick if he needs to. So we might see the, I'll leave the, you the great Willie O'Connor. I'll, <laughs> I'll leave you figure that one out. I'm going to tell you a quick story, fast, before I do this. There was one of the Limerick hurlers came into the shop recently. Um, He was asking for a, a Pearson or something. And I didn't... I wasn't too sure who, who he was. But he was a cool guy, a nice character. And obviously the promoting side of me just kind of kicked in out of nowhere, you know? This guy has no idea who Steve Savage is. No idea what wrestling is. And one of the guys was like, hey, man, this guy, he plays for Limerick Harden. I was like, oh, yeah. And so straight up, I was like, have you ever wanted to wrestle? <laughs> and he was like, what do you mean? He goes, do, do you want to wrestle me? And his guy was like, no, man, I don't want to fucking wrestle you. What a, what a weird question to ask. So I completely overshot the whole, it would be great to have a Limerick Harder. Try to do something. But uh, anyway, it's... It it's good publicity, so that... though. It is. It's great publicity. I like the way you're thinking. Ha- have the celeb, you know, like in Cork, <laughs> in Cork we have Patrick Hogg in the hurler. But look, Limerick have done, is it three in a row? Yeah, three All Irelands in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. might get JP McManus to wrestle. Oh, we might get him to throw me a few quid at it as well once we're at it, will we? Yeah, JP's <laughs> the man. I'd say if he knew, he will. I'm sure he'll be there. Look, I'm sure we might see JP sniffing around. He knows a good team when he sees it, so he might invest. <laughs> he, might, he, might, he might pay to bring Brock Lesnar over. Brock Lesnar versus Steve Savage. That'd be so much. Oh, we might just get Triple H to just kind of oversee the whole thing all together, sir. Oh, sure, you never know, you never know. But look, it's it's an absolute pleasure, Steve. I'm looking forward to catching you on camera uh, pre-show as well. But look, we're going to be there. There's going to be a lot of people from Cork coming up. It's a great venue, a great date. And we'll have all the links up. Uh, look, we'll tag you. And Steve, it's a pleasure as always, my man. Uh, and I, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks a million, man. Anytime, my man. We'll catch you soon. And look, have a good day. I know you're busy. And we'll catch you soon, bro. Thank you. See you later, man. See you. Bye-bye.